Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I wanna talk about a dynamic image transformation. So Xano has the ability to, on the fly, through uh, the business logic and API, uh, basically format different uh, image sizes and shape uh, with these real-time transformation templates that you can find uh, for different sizes and shapes. So this is all in our documentation. Uh, so for example, if I go over to this API endpoint here, you can see I just got a record um, from my stuff table. And there's this image URL here. And if I went ahead and put that into my browser, we would see this nice image of puppies. Um, so what I can do, I can actually just append to the end here and say, for example, uh, TPL equals small. And what it will happen is we'll resize that image for you on the fly. And there's obviously um, different sizes and shapes. So let's go ahead and say bigger here. And all those templates are found in our documentation. However, um, how do you want to do that without actually manually just typing it in, right? So we can actually uh, append this uh, through the function stack here. So I'm just going to add to my function stack, go to data manipulation, do update variable, and I'll grab that stuff one variable. And then the name of my image field is called image in this case. And then I just want to continue dot notation to get to that URL. And then I'll update it by itself here. So I'll have the same path. Uh, image, I want to make sure to spell that right, dot URL. And then I can add a filter here. And since that URL is just text, I can use a, a concat filter here. And so the value, I can just go ahead and put that one of those um, TPL templates here. And I could say something like um, large, for example. And that's all I need. So I can hit update, I can hit save. So now, this will automatically render me uh, a URL with that large uh, template on it. So now if I was passing it to this to my front end, it would automatically be that size and shape. So let me go ahead and paste and go uh, into the browser here. And you can see we get that large image, which is really awesome. Um, one other thing I did mention, we can um, change the type from uh, PNG to JPG or, or back. Um, typically, it's recommended when sending an image to the API to use um, a JPG image because it has faster loading times. Of course, PNG um, is useful if you need, for example, the uh, transparency aspect of it. Um, but yeah, so what we can just do here is I can just append at the end uh, JPG here. And basically, when we go ahead and run this again, we'll see that is now on the end of the URL. And if we go ahead and just copy that, and I come back to this other tab and just paste that in and go, uh, you'll see that even loaded a little quicker, right? Because it's a JPG, um, so it just comes through. So JPG is actually recommended. Um, you can see that down here in our documentation about image file formatting. And then I also wanna quickly talk about this uh, original parameter right here, which can be especially handy if you are storing GIFs in Xano. So GIFs will be stored as an image. It'll be a static image of the first frame. However, you can use that TPL format to basically bring it back as the original file type. So let's go ahead and look at uh, four here. You can see that it says .gif, and let's go ahead and put this in our browser and take a look. So when we open this, you can see it's static. It's just the very first frame of this GIF. So what we can do in Xano, let's go ahead and unhide this update variable. And I'm just gonna say where this TPL argument equals uh, original right here. So let's go ahead and update that and save it. And let's just quickly run this again. And you can see now that there is this original template on it. So let's just copy that. And I could have just typed that into the browser here to save time, but you get the idea. So now when I paste this in, all of a sudden we have this animated GIF. Uh, so that's really cool to know that you can still call that back and uh, have your animated GIFs. So lastly, I will just note, so this is the format in the function stack if you're just updating a single URL. However, if you wanna do images, uh, at multiple images at one time, so a list, you're gonna have to uh, incorporate a loop into your uh, business logic. So just as I have here, this is a query all records. When we're getting a list of objects back, we're just doing a for each loop uh, through that variable. 
And then we're doing the update variable within that loop where we're uh, just updating each item just like I did in the last example. Here you notice I just put the separator here as the question mark, but it'll all come out as the same. All these URLs will have that medium TPL that I have defined in that logic. And so when I run this, you can see uh, that each of the URLs down here have that parameter on it. Um, so that's it for dynamic image transformation. Check out the documentation. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I wanted to make sure to include how you just automatically um, add those parameters to those URLs through the API and hope you have found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It just helps other people looking for this content find it.